Long day lay me low. Hello everybody, Jason Baskin here from Unhinged Entertainment, co-founder of Unhinged Entertainment, co-creator of Frog G, creator of Absolute. I'm going to be showing you how I draw Frog G. How I draw Frog G. Well, you might say, Jason, who's uh, Frog G? Frog G is the uh, comic that uh, Frog G came up with. They kept, Frog G created the character, uh, Ink Spots and me, uh, co-creators as well. Uh, so it is my... Uh, book on Indiegogo, Frog G, uh, you will, a link will be in the description below for that. So uh, let me flip the, there we go, flip the canvas there. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna start. All right, create a new layer. There we go. And Frog G, I kind of start him like Spider-Man. So I actually start him with a regular head. Let me put on some uh, slight eyeballs here. Like, like you're, oh, he's a frog though, Jason. What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, but I draw him like Spider-Man. So first I'll draw like a Spider-Man pose. All right, let's see here. Um, I see this will be just, you know, getting that spider-like pose up in there. You know, I mean, probably just do something, something that I've always done. All right, let's uh, make that there and it's kind of spidery, kind of spidery. He's also a frog, so. All right, so you got that in there. You got that lay down in there, right? You got that Spider-Man type pose. So, and I tweak things as I go anyway. So, all right, let's move his head down a little more. So, all right, so he's still a frog. So, all right, so since this is the placement of his head, you know, with Frog G, his head is a little more of a cylinder this way. A little more of a cylinder this way because he's a tree frog that's the basis of him and his head is usually wide as wide as his shoulders so you can even pop in his shoulder here cut that down into his forearm or his uh, uh, tricep there you go his bicep his arms are skinny he's got skinny arms skinny froggy arms comes down here and he's got these these mitts and gloves they're big these big gloves. There you go. So there you go. There's that. And you can just foreshorten this other arm. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. All right. This is just the layout. And then you have his knee pad here. That's where his knee's going to be. His foot's going to come down. Or his um, calf is coming down this way. Squeezes in. And his foot. He's got these big the ink spots. Loves his big frog feet. Big frog feet. So I had his normal feet, and then poof, we're just gonna three toes, and then this knee is right here. There's the knee pad. That foot comes back, and this was a accidental foot. Now it's a toe. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get let's extend out another toe there. All right. So, and he's got that that uh, pouch, that uh, bag, tool bag. Back. All right, so there you go. There's your uh, frog cheek. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so that's your underdrawing, and then you bump the opacity down. I bump it down to 35%. I do these digital. It's just a little easier to. Um, I don't know what that pop up was. Uh, just to show you guys, you know, the flipping it around and stuff like that. It's just easier. And I can zoom in. I can see it a little better. You don't have to see my head get in the way. All right, so let's uh, now you start laying him in. He's got his eyes come up. This way you've got big, big frog eyes. Yeah, big frog eyes. Now with Frog G, you can um, you can play around with his proportions quite a bit. Um, these are these like eyebrow type things. Uh, you can always look at a tree frog and go from there. So then you get these you get pupil. And then his um, irises are actually really big, uh, depending on the situation. But... And, you know, butt out his head there there's the side of his head come up and now with frogs it's pretty difficult to draw their three it's a little difficult to draw their three-quarter view um, just do the best you can you kind of you're gonna mimic this side over to here so keep in mind his eyeball is gonna be behind a little bit of skin there 
and pop out that cheek and put his mouth down here he can be grinning why not froggy grin there you go or you can even have him not grinning you can you just have him look like a froggy there you go yeah, he still looks like he's grinning that's fine no froggy has a goatee and a, he's like a I guess you'd call it a French style mustache and a goatee. This goatee is crazy long. Uh, we're gonna change that though. So we're gonna not change the fact that it's crazy long, but we're gonna throw that in later. Uh, this is digital. We can play. We can play with that. So as you can see, his head is blocking his uh, shoulder there. So you put in his his uh, upper arm there, bicep, triceps. You put in his forearm, his, and then you got his big glove. His hand is going to come into the club there, and we're going to, he's got three fingers, this is coming up this way, boom, there you go, thumb, oh my god, my shoulder's hurting, but it's fine, we, we, we struggle through these things, alright, now, we got his other, his other shoulder here, his, his head is going to go behind it, I sometimes emphasize those uh, deltoids, comes into the tricep, boom, tricep. You got his elbow and then his bicep area there comes down and you got his forearm. Boom, boom. You notice I draw like forearms kind of like uh, diamonds in a way. You know? So there you go. This comes down and his sleeve. There's his little frog arm, little frog wrist there. And then I like to play with the gloves. Make him nice and big. There you go. Boom, boom. And fist it up. Fist. Give him a fist. There you go. And you're like, Jason, he looks a little weird. Well, we're not done. And, all right. You got the layout of his knee. There's his shoulder. There's a, um, this area here. The leg. leg upper leg calf. You got his pads. It's easier usually to draw them the circle first, Jason. So he draws the inner circle for the pad and then oh, these are like uh, ribbits or something. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, and then foreshorten in the calf there and wrinkle up the pant leg and foot because you still have the archway. And that's a little too skinny. There we go. And then there's the, the ball of the foot. And then get those long toes up in there. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Subtlety. Get that other one. Then we're going to put in. Alright, so he, he, I still have his body back here, but obviously his uh, head is covering the top half of him. So this is mainly like maybe a stomach right here. And with Froggy, he's got his uh, belt. Forget, don't forget about the, the pouch, the uh, belt that connects with the um, tool, the uh, the bag, the bag, the tool bag to his body. And you can put proportions on that other leg. Put in the knee pad. And cool thing you can do with this is even black it out it'll make it look nice and cool we're gonna do that in a minute here I'm gonna put it into the foot all right there we go and he also has like a uh, little belt pouch with a tool kit on it you could even just toss that right there it comes flying out there to the side and you don't want to leave that gap too far there he's got a skinny body and we're gonna put in the tool bag uh, I have it at facing out but I'm gonna switch it we're gonna have it go back there we go he's got these little rivets on the top <laughs> those aren't I'm not saying that on purpose by the way that's what they are the rivets and, and the drop light the drop light is out so he's slinging through it and then this is kind of like the spider-man webbing it goes all over the place uh, you can even toss the, the you know the 
drop light in here. You can put it in front of his foot. Kind of free flowing it and plant it. Right. Put it in front of the foot. Put the grates in there. Boom, boom. And we're going to delete that in a second. I'm not going to put anything in that. Okay. Right. Remember how I said he's got that? This is why I put it in. You can do that. He's swinging this way so you can even have it come out this way. Show movement. So then we gotta delete this. Boom. And there you go. There's the half of it. And there you go. I mean, this is essentially how you draw Frog G. I mean, that's now the rest of it is just to detail them up. So I'm gonna create a new layer for that. I'm gonna go underneath it. Do a layer underneath it. And uh, I guess that we could darken in this other leg and make it look kind of kind of like it's you know receding in the background it also helps out your colorist you doesn't have to color it or if you're coloring it you don't have to color it boom there you go it's back in the background and man the rest of it is just putting in the uh, you know your cross hatchings stuff like that and you got your elbow here and you can uh, darken in some areas, cross hatch, you know, add in your sexy. You, know, you gotta make sure you fix that though. You don't wanna there you go. You don't you don't want his foot to show through the drop light. There you go. on his foot, add some unnecessary chroma finishing, get some little frog toenail there, yeah. pick it in that last toe, that shadow there, and now with his eyes, what I like to do, this is a rough one by the way, but you just kind of line out and you circle in to the center, so there you go. And delete that part. There you go. It was it was a little too slow. There we go. Because he does have some white. You get a tear duct in there. Connect his little old frog brow. Get some dimension. A little drop there. You can lightly shade over his eyeball to indicate that this is going over over the eye lines up in there and he's kind of got these uh, wrinkles where his lips is and you know just point things in directions you can give him some warts uh, toads have warts tree frogs really don't but I mean I'm not a frog connoisseur like Ethan but um, frog G is frog G because of frog G All right. and he has mustache his beard around with that, make sure you get that in. Now, since his head is behind his shoulder, well, we're gonna do that. And then gradiate it out. Add some cross action. See, there you go, it's starting to come to life. A little froggy, a little froggy, it's starting to come to life. And you just go in and you put in your details. Put in where you want, you, and you don't even have to put in too much. If you want, want to do a heavy detail piece, you don't have to. You can go in and just add color and uh, color them up. Um, I do a lot of the cross hatchings and stuff like that. It's just fun for me. It's relaxing. Um, I can get carried away with it. So I got like to do the radiating action lines in the back here. Create some shadow. You know, make it give it a little more depth. So. I mean, the rest of it, like I said, it's just, he's Spider-Man, um, but a frog. That's how I draw him. Uh, so, you can just play with it. Play with your, uh, 
your cross hatchings and your details. You can add wrinkles, like his clothes have been wrinkled up from bending all the time. You know, they, they got creases in them. There you go. Maybe they come all the way around. Have some come out this way from his uh, pupil. There you go. And then you toss it to ink spots to color. No, just kidding. So, and his chin is usually a little more prominent, but the goatee is, uh, the beard is kind of hiding. I like to straggle out his beard a little bit, give him some straight hairs. Gritty him out. And then the baggy, you can, it's in the background, so you can always just. Give it a little. You know what? And this is like a silvery thing. You get a little sheen to it. Mm. And you put some tools in his tool belt. And you have like a, a screwdriver up in here. Uh, little flat Phillips and flat heads. And, you know. There you go. And you put some tools in there. And you can even put some lines in that that uh, drop light thing. And since his, um, you, you can even totally shadow out his chest here if you want, or is it, like abdomen area. You can do that, or one thing you can always do is kind of gradiate it a little bit, right? And then toss in some detail, like his stomach's gonna be here chest bottom of his chest you can do that there's nothing wrong there nothing wrong there you can give some depth to his knee pads so like, there you go you just play around play around with your details you know do if you want to cross hatch do some cross hatching you know gradiate up some stuff add some weird lines like that like McFarlane does his hands going into the glove you could gradiate that some warts on his wrist to distinguish that. Put the thread in on his gloves. You know, he's got three fing three fingers and a thumb, I always say. You know, it's just darken out that other glove. So it's all the way back there. There's, there's a lot that you can do is what I'm getting at. So, um, you know. And I'm mainly working with one brush size and playing with the pressure. Don't, you can always change your brush sizes um, in Photoshop. You can experiment with different brushes too, or if you want. I tend to stick with the um, single brush setting. Um, let's see if I can't pull it up here. Uh, show you, show you my brush. There you go. So I, as you can see, I, I I squeeze it and tilt it. So I mean that's really all I use for my brushes. I don't I don't really play too much with my brushes. Uh, there's all those there that if I'm coloring maybe but um as of right now I mainly just just use the one because it acts like a, a crow quill so and just playing with pressure you can get a lot done See, oh that's another one I could have just right clicked on my my stylus but there you go I mean, this is how you draw frog G pretty much I start off with a Spider-Man form, and then I just go in and I, I, I give him a frog head and lanky body like Spider-Man, and, and then I just detail him up. It's pretty uh, straightforward, you know, pretty straightforward froggy. So, uh, you know, quick little uh, tutorial there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like. Oh, there's my microphone. I moved it closer. Uh, to me, I'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, everybody, go check out Frog G. Link is in the description below. And maybe the screen size looks small. Anyway, uh, yeah, and I will leave you with the trailer. So thank you once again for watching. Hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe, if you will. Help me get to 400. Uh, as of this recording, I'm at like 389 or something. So yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, share this out. Thank you once again. And have a great one. We've all read the story.
the brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loves.